Welcome to our lecture online. Our next word problem is one dealing with coins. So here we have a problem that says that Susan has four times as many quarters as dimes and 16 less dimes than nickels. And I'm forgetting a letter here. Nickels would be spelled C-K-L-E-S, nickels. If she has $13.45 in coins, how many of each coin does she have? All right, again, we want to start with let X equal something. And let X represent the number of coins that she has of the, the least amount of coins. And in this case, she has less dimes than nickels and less dimes than quarters. So let X equal the number of dimes. There we go. All right. So if she has X number of dimes and she has 16 less dimes than nickels, that means 16 more nickels than dimes. So X plus 16 would equal the number of nickels. And finally, how many quarters does she have? She has four times as many quarters as dimes. So therefore, four times X is equal to the number of quarters. And now we need an equation, an equation that takes all, that, all those quarters and dimes and nickels, adds them together, and that should add up to $13.45. So the value in quarters plus the value in dimes, and Q and D, of course, answer quarters and dimes, plus the value in nickels should add up to $13.45. So how do we express the amount of value that we have in quarters? Well, we take the number of quarters times the value for each quarter. And so we have the number of quarters, which is 4x, times the value of each quarter, which is 0.25. That would be the value bestowed upon all the quarters. All right, now. How many dimes do we have? We have X number of dimes, and the value for each dime is 0 0.10. So now we have the, the number of dimes times the value for each dime, so that's how much money we have in terms of dimes. And then we do the same for nickels. We have X plus 60 nickels, so we have that many nickels, and they're each worth $0.05, and that adds up to a total of $13.45. And now we have an equation in terms of X. So first of all, it looks like we probably want to multiply both sides by 100 to get rid of the decimal. So let's multiply the left side by 100 and the right side by 100. Okay, when we do that, we have the following. We have 4x times 25 plus x times 10 plus the quantity x plus 16 times 5, and that should equal 1,345. All right, now we get rid of the parentheses, so it gives us 100x plus 10x plus 5x plus 80 equals 1345, and that should be a 3. There we go. Okay, now we want to move the 80 to the other side, subtract from 1345 and add up all the x's, so that gives us 115x is equal to 1345 minus 80, or 115x is equal to 1265. And finally, when we divide both sides by 115, let's get a calculator out. So x is equal to 1265 divided by 115 equals 11. So x equals 11, which means how many dimes that she have? She has 11 dimes. How many nickels? She has five, 16 more uh, nickels than dimes. So that would be 11 plus 16, which is equal to 27. And finally, four times as many quarters, so four times 11. Four times 11, or 44 quarters. Now let's check to see if we get all this right. How much money do we have when we have 44 quarters? Well, for each quarter, we have, for each four quarters, we have a dollar. So this represents 11 times four, or 11 dollars. Nickels, we have 27 nickels. For each 10 nickel, we have 50 cents. 20 nickels is a dollar, so it would be a dollar 35. And 11 dimes at 10 cents each, that would be a dollar 10. We'll add all that together, 11, 12, 13, 45, which is what we have here. And so bingo, we have that correct. So Susan, she has 11 dimes, 27 nickels, and 44 quarters. And that's how we do that.